everybody. Welcome back to Real Good Pilates. I'm Michelle and today I've got for you a Pilates reformer workout and we're going to be using your reformer box as well as your maple pole. So have those things ready. We're going to have our foot bars all the way down to start. Have a couple of heavy springs on uh, so that the carriage doesn't move and then hopefully you've also got a foot strap. We're going to use that for a little bit as well. Okay, so start with your box on short ways. Um, if you're on the taller side, you'll cover up the shoulder rests. If you're on the shorter side, you might need to put it in front of your shoulder rests. So you be the judge of that. We're going to get warmed up by sitting on the box, facing your platform, and just rest the stick in your lap. You can kind of hold on to it on either side. <clears throat> So take a breath in and feel the length out through the crown of your head. Now as you exhale, you're just going to slide the stick forward till it passes over your kneecaps and reach it beyond your feet. Take a nice rounded spine. Now breathe in, slide the stick back to your lap. You're going to pull it against your body to get a nice upper back lengthening. And then we'll do that again. Fold forward, draw the abdominals back. Now we're folding over the legs. We don't just want to rest on them. We want to keep some distance so we find a stretch. Bring the stick back to your lap and use that kind of pull to help you get a big lift. Let's do that a couple more times. Exhale. Feel like you're trying to pull the stick apart. That'll connect the shoulders a little bit more and then pull it across your hips. Okay, do that two more times. Abs back, try to tear that stick side to side. Inhale, tall. So good, last time, leaving the back of your pelvis nice and vertical. Ah, very good. Now stay tall through your back. Reach the stick out till it's just over your kneecaps. Find that pulling side sensation with the arms. Now just breathe in and float the stick up till it's just over the eyebrows and then lower down. Breathe in and float and then lower. So good. So stopping the stick before it goes behind your head is gonna keep those abdominals a little more engaged. Good, do that a couple more times. Try to find a nice smooth pathway of the arms while having this tension side to side. Now pause with the arms up. Now as you exhale, you're gonna twist to one side. See how deeply you can rotate and then inhale, face back to the front. Now go to the other side, rotate and then return. Good, try to leave your sitting bones evenly weighted. No rounding the spine, just a pure rotation. Very good. Let's do that one more time to either side and then we're gonna add on a little bit. <clears throat> so now as you rotate, you're also gonna bend your elbows and try to pull the stick as if you could break it and then reach back up. So if the stick was made out of like tissue paper, if you pulled hard enough on it side to side, it would just rip right down the middle, right? So that's the sensation we want to have. It doesn't take very long to start feeling the shoulders working. Okay, one more time to either side. See if your twist can get a little deeper the more we go along. Now pause facing front. We're going to rotate and add three pulses. So as I exhale, I twist as deeply as I can, retract and go further, retract and go the furthest yet and then return. Other side, three little exhales. Good, feel your abdominals deepening on each of those pulses. And up, so good, couple more times. Really helps to eke out a little bit more range. Very good. Let's do one more time to either side. Twist, look back over the shoulder. Last time. Reach the arms up and then go ahead and rest the stick down in your lap. Ah, okay, very good. Hopefully we're feeling the shoulders a little bit. So now you're gonna take your feet underneath the foot strap. 
hook your toes under it, scoot back till you have lots of tension on the strap, and hopefully the backs of your ankles can kind of rest on the edge of your carriage. So find that same grip onto the bar. You're gonna reach your arms up to that same angle we found earlier. Take a breath in. Now exhale, you're gonna tuck and roll away from your legs as you lower the arms and then reverse and sit back up. So the arms get to shoulder height. I scoop into a C curve and then return up. And then lift, so good. Keeping that side to side pull of the arms and really finding that scooping of the abdominals like the back seam of your pants is trying to touch the box. All right, on our next one, we're gonna hold the C curve and stay. Take a breath in, raise the stick by your ears. Now breathe out and throw the stick over your legs. Relax into a stretch, reach beyond your feet maybe, and then roll up and stack back to the top. And we'll do that again. Exhale to roll back. Inhale, stay. Now the abs are carrying the weight of the arms. We round up and forward and try to stretch the stick as far down our shins as we can and then return up tall. So good, couple more times. Scoop under, lengthen the hip flexors, reach and then draw the belly back and round over. So good. Let's do that one more time all the way through and then we're going to start adding some layers. And then sit tall. Okay, so next layer we're going to add on is some rotation. We kind of found it with a straight spine and now we're going to start finding it in our rounded spine. So taking the arms high again, same start, breathe in, exhale to roll back. Now inhale, raise the arms and stay here. And we're gonna rotate to face one side of the room and then face front. Other side, twist and face front. We'll do four total, side to side. One more time, pause in the center, breathe in and then stretch over to finish. Come back up, very good. So you find that even deeper connection of your obliques as we twist and up, try to leave the head centered between the arms and the stick level to the floor. So it's really our spine that's twisting. Pause in the middle and breathe. And then round, whew, good. Let's do that one last time. See if you can find a little deeper roll back and increase that twist. And front, so good. Exhaling as we twist helps us to go a little further. Shoulders down, last one and then stretch on over the legs. Whew. Very good. Okay, next we're gonna go into kind of a variation on the tree with the help of the stick. If the stick is kind of digging into the back of your leg, feel free to put like a towel or a sticky pad over uh, to cushion it a little bit. I'm just gonna go without. So you're gonna hook the back of one knee around the stick. I like to hold underhand grip. That feels like a little less shoulder tension to me. You can hold however feels best to you. So other foot is still under the strap. You stay vertical through the back of your pelvis and then draw the knee up towards your chest and then just let the foot rest back down. And do that a couple more times. So I'm almost doing like a bicep curl with my arms and just let your leg be like dead weight on the stick. So it's very passive and just kind of going along for the ride. So we're just finding this initial hip flexion and then we're gonna build onto this. Okay, now make sure we're not leaning back. That'll come next. Ah, who knew? We don't even need weights. We just need our leg over a stick to do some bicep curls. All right, now bring the knee up towards you. Try to keep the thigh close to your body and we're gonna roll back away from our long leg and then sit back up. Do that again. So I'm maintaining the biceps in this position. I keep the thigh close to my body. And then we're rolling along this bottom hip. And then up. Very good. Scoop. So the more you pull on the stick, the closer that leg is going to get to you. Good. So we're really getting a stretch for now on the front of the bottom leg. Okay. Now sit back up tall and stay. 
stretch and bend this leg that's on the stick. Now you might have to give with the arms a little bit in order to fully straighten the leg. Yes, now this is the part where if you pat it up around your stick, it might feel a little bit better. Very good. Okay, now when we tuck under, this top leg is going to extend. When we sit up, it's going to bend. Yes, this is really helpful. It kind of makes everything feel a little more natural. Yes, when you straighten the leg, you may be able to pull it closer to you. Or maybe when you straighten the leg, you might have to send it a little up and away from you. It just depends on how your hamstrings are feeling today. Very good. Let's do that one more time. Tuck under and then come on up. Oof, very good. Okay, Let's do that on the other side. So just a nice little hip opener. Yes, should feel pretty nice. All right, so start with your stick leg, that foot on the mat. Inhale, feel tall. Exhale, use your arms and your deep abdominal muscles to lift the leg and then release. Yes, so just dead weight of that thigh on the stick, getting a nice passive range of motion. See how close you can pull that thigh to your body. Good, two more, like your back is up against a wall. Now pause with that thigh close. You're gonna tuck under, scoop your tail, and bring the leg with you as you roll back, and then sit back up tall. Do that again. Pull with the arms. You can kick into the leg a little bit to help you come up. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't have to be so passive now. It was just kind of to get that hip flexion initially. So by kicking your thigh into the stick, it'll make that return a little bit easier. Okay, that's one way to go about it. Now, let's do two more here. Feel that bottom hip and thigh lengthening out. Last one. Okay, now sit tall and we're gonna get a little stretch for the hamstring, so swinging the foot up and down. Up and down. And you make any adjustments with your stick or with your elbows to get your straightest leg, hopefully not leaning back too much. I know that's hard. Okay, but now we get to go back there all we want because we're gonna add the round back to it. So as my leg extends, we roll back, bend it and sit back up. Ah, feels so much nicer. We get kind of gravity helping to pull that leg with us. Yeah, a couple more times. Relax your shoulders, make sure they're not hiking up. They like to do that. And return. All right, one last time, scoop and then come on up, oh, very good. All right, let's turn and face one side. So you're gonna leave your nearest foot under the strap, cross your other leg either over top of the box or let it hang off of the front, whatever feels better. If you have knee issues off the front, might feel nice. Okay, so we are gonna hold the stick right across our collarbone. If ever it's getting to be too taxing on your abs, set the stick down so you can use your hands on the box, okay? So you're gonna turn so that your toes are pointing forward, your hip and leg is parallel, and then only this bottom uh, hip bone is on the box, okay? So we're leaned over in a diagonal. Make your spine and leg into a long line. Now. Don't move the lower body. You're just gonna crunch up to the side, maybe an inch, and then line your spine back up with the leg. So exhale, I draw the rib to the hip, and then I lower down. Still with that pulling outward sensation in the hands. Now this is also a lot of work for the outer thighs here. Yes, not just the abdominals. Okay, now let's pause in that diagonal line and instead of coming up, we're gonna go beneath it a little bit and then return. Beneath it and then return. So we're actively lengthening that top side of the waist under load and then reaching back up. So, so good Whew, for those obliques. Now pause in the diagonal and let's do both. Up a little, down below, up above the line, below it. Now, if your strap is bobbling, it means you're coming up too high. So these are very small. We wanna leave our weight hanging off the strap. Whew, two more. And then last one, sit up. Whew. 
Good. Okay, last thing here. Those are not easy. We're gonna add a little bit of rotation, which is always fun. So working the obliques in a little bit of a different way. Again, drop the stick and use your hands on the box if you need to. So bring the stick back, find your diagonal line. We're gonna keep the diagonal line and rotate around it. So twist till you're facing your rails and then return. And then up as you twist, you wanna deepen those abdominals, draw the back shoulder behind and front. Very good. All right, now we're gonna twist and hold. Reach the arms on the diagonal with your spine. Return and face front. Whew. So now working the back muscles a little bit more. Twist and reach, bend and return. So good, just two more. Rotate, lengthen. Now on this last one, leave your arms long and with control, try to drape forward, set the stick on the rails, and then you can let go of it and place your hands wherever you'd like. Release your head and feel a nice stretch from your heel through your hip and ribs. Good, couple breaths here. All right, and then use your hands, push yourself back up. Ooh, okay, let's do that on the other side. So flip around, put your new foot under, turn it parallel, get your positioning on the box, lean on your hip to find your diagonal. Okay, really pull against the strap, and then we move the rib cage up and long. Lift and lower. If you feel that tugging out with the hands, it'll really stabilize the scapula and the shoulders so that we're able to focus more on the movement of the waist. Good, now pause in the long line and we dip below and return. Under and long, under and long. Couple more and then we're gonna go in our full range. So find your diagonal, come above it and then lower, above, and under, very good. Not very big of a range, keeping it small and contained. Three, two, and come all the way up and take a break. Whew. Okay, let's add our rotation to get our back a little bit more work. Here we go. So, bar to the chest, lean over, start with just the rotation. Yes, so we found these twists in all different positions and depending on those positions, it makes gravity affect us a little differently. So on this angle, it's whoa, working into those strips of muscle down your back. Now turn and hold. You're gonna stretch and bend the arms and face back front. So good, almost done. One, two, three, four, that's it, twist reach good let's just do one more time this one's not easy now when your arms are straight slowly slowly lower the stick to the bars let go of it crawl the hands as far out as you can and then breathe out and release your body forward nicely done okay crawl yourself up to sitting and we are gonna change up our box. So instead of having our box short ways, we're gonna take it long ways and you can kind of pull your strap out of the way. So long box in front of the shoulder rests and let's go to just a single red spring. And then we're gonna take a seat on the box. So pick up your straps. If you have a choice of loops, we're gonna use the smaller of the two. So take your stick and you're gonna thread the loops on either end until they're about shoulder width apart. You can hold with your thumbs to keep them a little more secure. And then you wanna scoop back on your box, you know, a little bit, have maybe a third of the box behind you and then reach the arms out long. So the straps should be tight with your arms outstretched. That's a good measure of if you're in the right spot. So inhale to get ready. We're gonna tuck under, roll our low back towards the box and pull the stick to our chest and then return up to sitting. And then do that again, tuck under, scoop and roll and then come back up. So this feels a little different than when we were doing our half rollbacks facing the other way, right? Without the straps. 
So totally different sensation. We get some work for the backs of the shoulders, but the springs aren't crazy heavy. So it's actually quite a bit of work for the abdominals to hold us here. Yes, and you're welcome to kind of roll onto your toes when we get back here. If your feet aren't quite reaching, let's do one more. And then sit up tall. Okay, next we're gonna add some rotation to this. We're just adding rotation to all the things. So reach the arms out. On your way back, you're gonna scoop under and angle one side of your stick higher and then return back up tall and then do the other side. So I tuck under, if I'm rotating to the right, my left elbow gets higher than the other and then we come up. Yeah, you wanna think wide elbows, they kinda of line up with the ends of the stick. And up and take your time, there's no hurry. We get to hold these positions to deepen the abdominals, it's a good thing. Very good, all right, two more. Now on your next one, we're gonna stay there. Hold your scooped spine, keep the ropes tight, and I just want you to twist to the right and then to the left. No moving the springs, right and left. So good, hold the tension, four. Don't let the knees swing side to side, three. Two, so good, last one. And then face front and sit all the way back up tall. Very good, you guys. All right, next we are gonna kind of combine those two different rotations. So instead of going side to side, we're gonna go around the world, okay? So let's go clockwise first. So reach your arms in front of you. You're gonna exhale, curl under, bend the elbows and lean to the right. Now, kind of like we did to alternate, we switch to the other side, except now we come up on that left side to sit up and then again. So we're just drawing a continuous circle to the right, around to the left to sit up. Really feel those inner thighs drawing together to stabilize your lower body. Good, try to deepen your roll back with each repetition. Let's do two more in this clockwise direction and then we'll reverse it. Very good, now let's go right away to the other side. We go to the left, scoop under, pass over to the right and up tall, scoop, rotate, lift. Good, couple more times, tuck, roll, and up, last one, over, and up. Whew. Very good. Okay, last thing here, we're gonna flip our palms to an underhanded grip. Now, this is more difficult if you stay sitting upright. So let's do that the best we can. Arms reach out, higher elbows also adds to the challenge. Now, don't hit yourself in the face. You have to be a little aware of the stick. So you either have to pause just before it touches your forehead or have your elbows so high that it can go over your head, Ooh, which is not easy. So find which of those choices is more doable. Yes, yeah, so we've done a lot of rolling back. So we're kind of opposing that with this tall lifted spine, keeping those back muscles, whoo, maintaining our posture. Four more, good, don't pop the ribs, three, two, and last one. Oh, very good. Okay, let's take the straps off of our stick for now. They're gonna come back but we need to change a couple things. So remove your box, we are done with it. Okay, so now that our box is gone, grab your stick again. We are gonna come up onto our knees. If that doesn't work for you, you can do this seated. You'll just do only the arm work, not the lower body work, okay? So now you have a couple of choices. Option one, which I personally like the best, is you're gonna kinda have your knees hip width apart. Bring your big toes together so that your feet fit in between the shoulder rests, and then you're gonna kinda push your feet side to side to be stable. So you're touching the shoulder rests with the outer edges of your feet. Now doing this option, I can tuck my toes under and have a full range to drop my hips to my heels. That feels good to me. 
If you feel more secure having your toes tucked under against the shoulder rests, that's another great option. You'll just have a little less room to lower down, right? Because my heels are higher. So you pick the one that's best for you. But if you tuck your toes under, push the heels side to side. So you have some security there, okay? So now sit back. You're gonna re-loop your straps on the stick. Short one if you've got it. Okay, so now have them just wide enough that the ropes aren't really touching you, okay? They might touch a little bit. So next, we're gonna go underhanded grip again, palms up. Now keep the stick in contact with your hips, and we're just gonna elevate our hips off of our heels, squeeze your glutes, and then very slowly hinge to come back down. Okay, this is really working on our hip and knee mobility and strength. Up, especially the knees, yes, so be mindful. If your knees aren't up for this, that's okay. You can skip over it. We're gonna work the arms here in just a minute, okay? We lift and then lower, not rushing through it. Try to spend lots of time in these positions. <sighs> okay, now lift your hips up and stay. Get a good grip on the stick. You're gonna take it off of your hips and press it forward return it and rest it against your body wherever's comfortable and then very slowly sit back down good do that again i squeeze my glutes so the coming up is just as much part of the exercise now i squeeze the buns and stay arms go out return and gently touch it against the hips and as slowly as you can lower Good, couple more times. So we're getting this nice lengthening kind of action for the quads under tension as we come down. Whew, so good. Let's do one more just like this. Now on our next one, we're gonna smooth this into two motions. So as my hips are lifting, I'm already removing the stick and going forward. And then the stick finds the hips at the bottom. Yes, so it's a little bit more coordinated and kind of evens out the work across upper and lower body. Instead of having it be lower body, then upper body, then upper body, then lower body, we're putting it all together. So it's full integration and down. Last two, and last one, and then relax. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna change the grip of our hands. So let go of the stick. Take your hands and sneak them inside of the loops. You're gonna re-grab on the outsides, lift up, and the rope should be going over your shoulders. So now, lean forward a little bit so you don't go somersaulting back. Straps can come a little narrower. You're gonna lean forward, reach the arms on the diagonal, and tuck the elbows in by your ears. Now do a couple of tricep presses here. Make sure you like how far apart your hands are. If you're not able to keep your elbows in close, go narrower with the straps. <sighs> okay, now just like before, we're gonna add some hip action to this, which is not easy. So reach the arms out. You need to keep this forward diagonal line. Now, lock in the shoulders, and we're gonna come up off of our heels. The carriage moves back, my abs are on. I bend my knees, and the carriage comes under. And then we bend the elbows and do that again. I reach out, now I hold the upper body. I sit up, I shove the shins back. I bring the hips to the heels and then lower. So this is comes in handy that we have the feet pushing into the shoulder rest. It's gonna make you feel a lot more stable. Okay, so try to have that contact. Okay, now let's do a few more and see if we can do same time, just like on our forward presses. So as my arms are straight, my hips lift, and then return up, and then down. That's it, you guys, three more, that's so hard, three. Ooh, keep breathing, two. Last one, and then come on down, okay. Sneak back under the ropes, bring the bar across your body, and then take the straps away. Ah, oh, very good. Okay, we are gonna end with a little bit of feet and straps and a mermaid stretch, and then we'll call it a day. So let's bring our foot bars fully back up. 
put on whatever springs you want for feet and straps. I'm gonna do two reds. You could do a red and a blue to be a little bit lighter. Okay, grab your straps, lay on your back. <sighs> okay, so push on out, get centered on your carriage, and then one by one, feet go in. Oh, okay, so reach the legs out long on the diagonal, lift your feet towards the ceiling, and let's just find some circles through the hips. Breathe in to lift, out to lower. Inhale and exhale. Good, so just start finding your groove, start timing the breath with your movement, however makes sense to you. Good, try to relax the ribs into the mat. Okay, and then let's reverse, go the opposite direction with those feet. Very good, nice, connecting to the backs of the legs as we find this nice free movement in the hip. Very good, all right, now let's end up with our legs out on the diagonal. Turn your feet out and do a couple bend and stretches in external rotation. So bending like a frog and reach. Good, maybe when your legs are straight, you can point the toes and reach through the foot to get that full leg action. In and out. Good, do that two more times. Feel those inner thighs tightly connected. Whew. Now pause with the legs out, open up to a nice big straddle, take the legs out ear to ear and then pull back together. Good, the feet will have to elevate a little bit to find that sweet spot in your hip and then they can lower down. Good, couple more times. Let the ropes pull the legs into position and then re-engage the hamstrings and the inner thighs to come back. Good, let's do a couple more. Now here we can involve the feet too. So when my heels come together, we can flex the feet, point the feet as we straddle. Flex to come in, point to go out. Two more times, in and then open, last one. Very good, all right, nice and easy. Let's finish with a little short spine. So parallel the legs, have your headrest down, breathe in. If you don't wanna roll over, you can just do the leg action with us. You're gonna curl up onto the shoulder blades, bend like a frog, just like we did before. Now roll your hips away from your heels. Bring the feet down with you and reach on the diagonal. And then we go again. We turn the legs parallel to lift. We scoop under and push the low back into the mat to roll up. Chins is off the chest as we bend and roll the spine down and then finish with the heels out. Good, you guys. Let's do two more. So good, one more time. I'll just breathe with you. We don't need to jabber, jabber on anymore. Roll through it. All right, bend your knees. Take your feet out of the straps one by one. Roll over to your side to come all the way up. All right, let's end with a quick little mermaid stretch, just a basic one side to side to kind of cool us down. So go down to a single red, take your nearest shin up against the shoulder rest, other one comes forward, nearest hand on the foot bar, and then we take a nice side to side stretch. Inhale, come up tall, switch to the opposite side bend. 
Very good. Good, so just start kind of finding your breath, kind of trying to come down after all that activity. Good, you can even close your eyes if you want. That kind of feels good to take away the visual stimulation and just kind of feel what's happening. Good, do that one last time. Good, all right, turn around, do the same thing. Ah, facing your new direction. So now it's your new leg that's closest to those shoulder blocks. Okay, we push away, draw the ribs back, and then switch. Good, hopefully your ears don't get closer to one shoulder than the other. Yeah, you kind of keep that equidistance side to side. Good, all right, we'll do that one more time all the way through. All right. And with that, we are all done. Thank you so much for joining me for today's workout using the pole and the box. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up down below. Leave me any feedback or requests for future videos down in the comments. And please be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you don't miss a thing. And be sure to please share this video with a friend. And I will see you next time. Thank you, bye.